The Devils are now in a 0-2 series hole as they were crushed by the Hurricanes on Friday night, 6-1 in Game 2 of their conference semifinal. So let's talk some New Jersey hockey with the Devils beat writer for the Hockey News. That is Christy Flannery, who joins me now. Christy, how's it going? It's I'm better than the Devils, so. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask that. I had to make sure that you were better than the Devils. You haven't had any crushing losses. That hasn't happened to you. And another beatdown for the Devils, 5-1 to one in Game 1, 6-1 to one in Game 2. And when you hear those scores, Christy, you got to talk about the Devils' offense. They haven't been present over the first two games. Only two goals scored over those two games. What's wrong with the Devils right now, and how badly do they need their top players to step up offensively in this series? They need their top players to step up so badly because they scored two goals in this series and both were scored by the BMW line, which is Miles Boyd, Nathan Bastion, and Michael McLeod, which is the team's fourth line. Jack Hughes, Nico Keisher, Jesper Bratt, Timo Meyer, none of them have been able to find the score sheet. And when you look at it, it really is, I'm going to sound like, coach rough but it's just missed opportunities missed chances and they desperately need these players to step up if they want to continue this series past four games yeah gotta have your top players step up Chrissy there's no doubt about that now devil's goaltender Akira Schmid he's been one of the breakout players this postseason but Schmid has been pulled for the second straight game after game two should fans be concerned about Schmid's recent play between the pipes Honestly, no. And I would say the same thing if Vanacek was in net. Nothing that's happening right now is the problem of the goaltender. I personally find it really hard to judge the goaltender on their performance and put the loss solely on the goaltender when the team in front of him can't do anything. They're not good defensively. They're not good offensively. So I'm not sure how you could put any kind of blame on the goaltender at this point in time. Um, but no, Akira, Akira's performance is fine. It's everything else that's been the major issue for the team this series. All right, so putting on the defense in front of him, not being able to stop block shots there too, mm -hmm. putting a lot, him facing a lot of pressure, which he has thus far in this series. Lastly, Christy, the Devils have, in a way, they've been here before, okay? Only scoring two goals in the first two games of the opening round series against the Rangers. They also fell behind in that series in an 0-2 hole. Do the Devils mm -hmm. have the Hurricanes right where they want them? And how do they get back into this series with a win in game three in New Jersey? You know, this is a different series. This is a completely different team. And I think what fans are forgetting is that Carolina has been picked to be a Stanley Cup favorite for the past five years. This is a team that's been here before. They have playoff experience. And former Anaheim Ducks head coach Dallas Eakin made a really great point that he said that 80% of, of the time when you're with the puck, the puck is the puck time is within three feet of the boards and the wall. And if you watch the Devils against Carolina, they're not winning any of those board battles. So really it starts with board battles. It starts with having the puck because honestly, they've been kind of chasing the puck and the Carolina Hurricanes all around the ice these past two games. So it's just those 50-50 battles that they're just, it's killing them right now. Gotta win that game three for the Devils against the Hurricanes back at the Rock. That will be Sunday afternoon. We'll see how that all plays out. Chrissy Flannery. Devil's beat writer for the Hockey News. She will be all over it as usual. Christy, appreciate the time and the insight. We'll Thank talk you. again very soon. I know we will. <laughs> Thank you.